This is the Canon R6 Mark II, and here are five hidden features in this camera that I bet you didn't know. The first hidden feature is that you can actually see what focal length you're using on the LCD screen when you are shooting photos or videos, instead of looking at the lens all the time. So this is obviously more helpful when you're using a zoom lens, because for example, if you're shooting on a tripod and you can't see the lens and what focal length you're actually at, and if someone goes and tells you to change the focal length to 35, or if you yourself want to change it to 70, for example, then all you have to do is move the lens and on the actual camera's LCD screen itself, it actually comes up with what focal length you're currently at. So it's a really helpful way of finding the focal length that you want very, very quickly. Now to actually turn this setting on, I'm pretty sure it's on automatically, but if it's not, you have to go over to the menu and then you have to just scroll over, click on the red photo menu at the top, go over to number seven, go down to shooting info display and then go down to lens info display and then one down it says focal length display and then put that to enable and then whenever you go back now you'll actually always have the focal length number on the LCD screen whenever you change focal length. Another great hidden feature of the Canon R6 Mark II is for video and there's one for photo as well and that is actually pre-recording and it's also pre-shooting as well on the photo side. So basically what this means is if you actually set this to on and obviously if you actually start framing up your shot before you press the actual record button what you can actually do you can set it up to pre-record up to five seconds so whenever you actually click the record button it will actually already be recording for five seconds so when you do click that record button straight away you already have five seconds of recording pre of you pressing the button and the same for photos as well I think you can get up to five frames or three frames maybe so when you actually press the button the camera would have already taken three to or five maybe photos before you actually Actually started shooting so it is actually really helpful if you do miss a shot or miss something very important because as soon as you press that record button you already have either five seconds of recording or three to five photos before you actually press the button the third hidden feature of the Canon R6 Mark II is another video feature and it's actually an amazing video feature as well especially that you can actually get in this camera for about 2,800 pounds and that is false color now if you don't know what false color is it's actually such a unique and probably one of the best ways you can to actually expose your image properly and probably perfectly as well to the way you want it and probably to the way it should be so basically to enable false color you got to go over to the menu option and then you scroll all the way over to the number seven again on the first red camera setting and then as you can see it says false color setting now to actually enable this you have to turn off zebras and you have to go over to Canon log settings which is on four so Canon log settings and you actually have to turn the view assist off to be able to make this false color work so once you go back over false color should be there because once you actually turn on false color and you click on the false color index it actually comes up with all of these different colors so while you actually are setting up your exposure you can actually see so red is white clipping so if you see any red on the actual screen itself that means your whites are clipping and you're actually basically overexposed you'll probably see a lot of white if you're outside and you're actually shooting like towards the clouds for example and if anything is yellow this is just below white clipping so you know if you push it any further you're going to get some clipping and then pink is one stop over gray 18 percent and i'd probably say um, pink to green is probably the perfectly exposed if your stuff is pink and green you know you've got a well exposed image and I think if your skin tones are around pinkish no higher than pink at all I think you're actually going well blue is just above black clipping and purple is black clipping so that means there's no details at all in the shadows because it's just too crushed the shadows basically so you want to avoid the purple and the reds you want to try and avoid the blue and the yellows as much as possible and you really do want to be aiming for around that pink and greenish look so this is just a really great way of actually exposing your image perfectly so you actually are making sure that nothing is overexposed because it is hard sometimes to tell if some is overexposed if you're just using the exposure compensation meter or if you're using zebras as well and a lot of times people have to get like a, an external monitor to actually be able to use false color so the fact that this is built in into internally into the Canon R6 Mark II is absolutely amazing. Another great hidden feature of the Canon R6 Mark II is actually the electronic viewfinder. Now this is actually really good for certain situations, it's actually quite new for Canon as well, but this is even more particular great for example like wireless mics. Now I use the Rode Video Mic Go and I'm sure a lot of people out there use like the Rode Video Micro and with their mics you have to use the 3.5mm headphone jack and actually plug it into the side.
side of the camera and which is fine but sometimes you might even forget to plug it in or it can actually get in the way of the LCD screen sometimes if you actually want to flip it down. So they're not the best and they're a little bit annoying. However, if you actually buy like Canon's own wireless one, it actually goes straight through the viewfinder and it actually connects to the camera using the electronic viewfinder. So all you actually have to do is put it straight onto the camera's hot shoe because it's electronic viewfinder. I've noticed I've kept saying viewfinder, I mean electronic cold shoe. And every time you actually put it straight in, it auto connects to the camera. So the fact that you can actually use a wireless mic with your Canon R6 Mark II saves so much time and stress. And the last hidden feature of the Canon R6 Mark II is that the only record limit you'll actually find in this camera is around 40 minutes at 4K 60 or 4K 50. And this is actually loads for 50 frames per second because I don't really know anyone who's gonna be continuously shooting for that long in 50 frames per second. So the fact that you can actually get 40 minutes with that is absolutely amazing and it also means in 4k 25 frames per second you get no record limit whatsoever you can record for as long as you want on this camera as long as the battery runs out or even if you plug it in externally to actually give it unlimited power you can record forever with this camera which is absolutely amazing for interviews and wedding ceremonies because it means you don't have to constantly go over to the camera to constantly turn it on every 29 minutes and 59 seconds because of that 30 limit record limit you'll find in the R5, the R, the R6. The fact that they've put no record limits in 4K 25 uh, frames per second in this camera is absolutely game changing for videographers who want to do interviews or weddings. We may as well throw one more hidden feature in there and I don't really think it's a hidden feature but you can actually shoot up to 60 frames per second in 6K raw ProRes with an external recorder with this camera which which is absolutely unbelievable. So if you wanna shoot 6K, 60 frames per second, or 50 frames per second, raw video as well, ProRes with this camera, all you have to do is buy like a Ninja Atomos, which are a lot of money, obviously. But if you're spending this much on a Canon R6 Mark II, and you can actually have the ability to shoot raw video with it, then I don't think spending like four, 500 pounds on a Ninja Atomos is the biggest, like, waste of money ever be the fact that you can actually shoot raw if you want to so this camera is such a capable video camera with all of these hidden features that i've actually said obviously it's a brilliant photo camera as well but this is just some of the reasons or some of the hidden reasons why i actually think you should buy the canon r6 mark ii if you did actually enjoy this video why not watch this video next to actually see five more reasons why i think you should actually buy the canon r6 mark ii because this camera is just such a beast it's so good value and it's just so amazing and you should just go out and buy it so if you are interested Interested, click this video next.